right, so let's get our acceleration here. Woo! Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're going to be going over the all-new Hyundai Santa Cruz. Before we get into this video, though, a huge shout-out and thank you to the Ken Garf Hyundai here in South Southend, Utah, for giving me some time with this Santa Cruz. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below, so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for Ryan. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time purchase car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged 2.5 liter four cylinder that goes to an eight speed wet dual clutch automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 19 around town and then 27 on the highway with power outputs being a whopping 281 horsepower and then 311 pound feet of torque. Before we go to the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Now, starting with the hood, you can see they've got super distinctive lines there on either side, and I definitely like this baby blue color. And then taking a look at the rest of the front end, it's definitely unique with the styling. I do love the LED lights there in the grill, and then notice we got the headlight off to the side with, well, more LED light accenting next to it. And so, yeah, pretty cool looking. Very similar to the Tucson. Hmm... And putting it all together, I do think the front end of the Santa Cruz overall looks pretty dang solid. Coming around the side here, our tire and wheel setup is 245, 60, 18 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you can see the style on the wheels with the silver there on the outside, and then it's darker in the center. Pretty unique fender flares here. We've got the little mini truck there at the top, and then that does continue all along the side, and the mirrors are body painted. And then when you put it all together, I think this thing looks pretty cool. It reminds me of like the old Subaru Baja. And so as a mini truck, I don't know, I like it a lot, especially when you compare it like the Ford Maverick, for example, or, you know, the Honda Ridgeline. The Ridgeline isn't exactly mini, but you guys get what I'm saying. So here's our key fob. We have our unlock function or lock function or remote start. That's for the horn. And then this is to drop down the tailgate. So starting things off, we have this cool tunnel cover, which we can just press that and then it goes away and then we do have this composite bed which is great so you don't have to worry about like you know scratching paint or anything like that but the cool part is we have a trunk which also adds the practicality now getting the tunnel cover back is pretty easy you just got to pull the strap lock it into place and then put that down and then lift up the tailgate and you're done Really cool looking taillights here on the Santa Cruz. You got like your 2.5 T badge Santa Cruz stamped into the tailgate. And then we actually have these bumper steps down below to help with accessing the bed. And then finishing things up with the rest of the rear, you can see the crossbars there at the top. And if you're wondering, we have a payload capacity of 1,411 pounds and then a towing capacity of 5,000 pounds. With the door panel here in the rear, I do like this trim right there. And then down below, it's actually not uh, padded for the rear passengers, but we do have a window control there, a little uh, cup holder as well. And then here are the seats in the rear, really nice cloth seats, as you can see. Legroom here in the back is actually pretty decent and well, nothing happened in there, but we do have under seat storage. Headroom here in the back is actually pretty good. Now with the rear window, it is manual with the opening operation. Taking a look at the front door panel, we have this cool strip that is covered up so you guys can't see it, but trust me, it looks cool. Padding here on the armrest area, we've got all of our window controls, door lock and unlock, and then the adjustment here for the mirror. The mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. The front seats have that same cloth design as the rear. You can see, especially down in the center portion here, if the camera will pick it up. There you go, camera, you can kind of do your job. And then you do have your power adjustments there on the side. And then here on the side, we have controls for like the cargo light, and then you guys can see for the stability control, and then the steering wheel is manually adjustable. Here's the steering wheel in the Santa Cruz. Really nice trim all around, darker stitching in the center. And then notice two spoke design. We do have adaptive cruise control with steering assist, paddle shifters here on the back for that dual clutch. You've got controls for like the voice command system, volume controls, you know, all the normal stuff. Turn signal light stock, windshield wiper stock. So full digital gauge cluster here in the center. We can scroll through some different menus, see different bits of info on the vehicle. But the fun party trick is the drive mode. So when we go to sport, fully changes so that's definitely a cool look so we have a backup camera here which your directory lines that turn with the steering wheel and something that's cool to help out with towing is you have this like zoom function there down where a receiver hitch would be so here's our infotainment system first off response time with the screen is actually really solid so i think that's great and then it has normal hyundai stuff so like you got your quiet mode you can hook your phone up to it so overall easy to use and you do have these like physical buttons down below and they're not buttons in the sense that you like 
press them in like a button, you just press on them. It's kind of interesting. And then we've got our dual zone climate system just down below that as well. Pretty straightforward. We got some USB ports here and then we do have a wireless phone charging pad in that area. Now we have our shifter for that dual clutch automatic. It does have a manual shift function. Got some cup holders here. We have our drive mode select. That is your center locker to make the power distribution front to rear more equal. Auto hold, parking brake. We've got this for the camera system and then your hill descent control. Center console here, which yeah, storage space is solid. We do have some heated seats there in the front and then some nice stitching on the top. And speaking of storage, glove box, wow. So here's what that trim looks like uncovered and you can see kind of the design here, just like the Tucson goes all the way across, which is pretty cool. So we got light controls up here, controls to the center. Here's the center, there's a crossbar, that's all. So here's our window sticker for this Santa Cruz. You guys can see five year, 60,000 mile on the new vehicle warranty, 10 year, 100,000 mile on the powertrain warranty, and actually three year, 36,000 mile complimentary maintenance too. That's pretty cool. Anyways, all of the standard equipment with this, 37,350 is the base MSRP. You do have some options. Total MSRP is $39,340 and Let's see how the mini truck drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors throughout the rest of the rear. And let's see if this has a camera mirror. No, it doesn't. Anyways, let's set off. I realize I said camera mirror, I meant turn signal camera. I don't know uh, what's happening with my brain today. We'll just blame it on the cold. It's 37 degrees outside. It's because of the cold, guys. Now, I don't have the uh, center locker activated, so power distribution front to rear is not going to be super equal. It sends more power to the front. Um, that's the thing I've noticed with Hyundai's all-wheel drive system is its uh, front-wheel drive uh, base system, which is pretty typical um, for most of these uh, smaller-sized uh, vehicles. I guess that's what we'll call this. Um, but uh, so something I want to mention is this dual clutch isn't weird at low speeds, which is nice. It's kind of the benefit of a wet dual clutch. Yeah, it sends way more power to the front. That is for sure. I'm actually interested to see when we get our acceleration if this will torque steer too. Because I just drove a Kona N line before this and it actually torque steered quite a bit and that has all wheel drive. Okay, so let's get our acceleration here. Woo! So it sent a lot of power to the front, but it didn't like torque steer, which was nice. Um, we'll put the center locker on and see how that changes with the uh, power distribution and everything. Again, it's pretty safe to assume it's just gonna send more to the rear, so it'll be more equal. It's kind of what I'm seeing so far initially, is it sending a little bit more there to the back. It's really smooth. Um, it's one of the benefits of these uh, little unibody truck things, whatever you wanna call them. They're very comfortable. Handling's great too, because again, it handles like an SUV. Yeah, more equal, still a little bit more to the front than the rear, but a lot more equal, um, way more equal than it was without the center locker on. Okay, so finishing things up here with the Santa Cruz. Um, I'm actually a big fan of the styling with this. I think this looks pretty cool. I wanna see someone lift one of these and put like big tires on it. I think that would, <laughs> I mean, be kind of ridiculous, but I think that would look so sweet because this thing, this thing's pretty cool looking. Um, I really like the interior. Obviously, if you want a nicer interior, then you can get the limited. But I mean, this has all the creature comforts you could want. It's got heated seats, um, got a backup camera, which is standard on every vehicle because federal mandates. But like, again, it's 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 got some nice features. Um, it drives really well. I like this dual clutch. Um, the only downside is that you know, being a dual clutch, you know, this is going to be kind of quirky off road. I will say though, I did take one of these off road that had the dual clutch and I didn't have the issue that TFL had where they like completely roasted the transmission. I was like, but again, the off-roading I did wasn't as difficult. So I, I will be honest with that. Um, but that's something to consider. If, if you're gonna be like really pushing the engine, um, then probably, or, you know, wanna go for the Natchi aspirated four cylinder that has the regular torque converter automatic cause that can handle a little, that doesn't overheat as quick as like a dual clutch would. Um, but aside from that, I think this is a cool little utility vehicle and you know especially if you live in like a tight city and just need to haul stuff around every so often then this thing is perfect that's because something's up with our video on this santa cruz again a huge shout out and thank you to the ken garf here in southtown utah for giving me some time with the santa cruz check out them try the description down below ask for ryan if you have any questions i'll see you